Well, the reason we're here in Ottawa, the First Minister's Conference. They talked about everything they were supposed to. The Prime Minister opened with a speech devoted mostly to economics, then moved on to Meech Lake. Just about everybody else followed the pattern. Economy, then Meech. It was the Meech part that had most of the drama, including a few minutes in this room that just commanded your attention. A riveting exchange that will be long remembered by anyone who saw it. Our coverage of the day in Ottawa begins with Wendy Mesley. Prime Minister Mulroney came to the conference this morning determined to soften the attacks on Meech Lake because last night at a private dinner with the premiers, all sides say the attacks got out of hand with lots of swearing and name-calling. Much of it, sources say, was directed at Newfoundland Premier Clyde Wells, who was threatened to rescind the accord. They say his speech today was mild in comparison. Still, it provoked a very public fight when Wells answered Mulroney's frequently repeated question, would they have gone ahead with the 1982 Constitution if it had been Ontario instead of Quebec that had been left out? We most certainly would have if Ontario had been holding out and saying, we will not agree unless we have special status in the Constitution. And I say to you, the nation would have proceeded as it did, and it ought to have proceeded in that way. It would never happen that we, quote unquote, would ever impose a Constitution ever on Ontario. I say to you without hesitation that no province in this nation has a right to hold up forever the rest of the nation. When Newfoundland and Labrador were brought into the Canadian family, it required uh, generosity and leadership uh, at the time in 1949. I can't uh, allow the suggestion to remain on the table that uh, my attitude uh, is somehow that I don't want uh, Quebec to be part of uh, the country or that I'm not being generous in... in, in in making sure that Quebec is, is a full constitutional participant. And frankly, Prime Minister, you should check the historical facts. We were talking about attitudes and approaches. And had there been a narrow, um, uh, ungenerous approach, it is unlikely that Newfoundland and Labrador uh, could have come on board as effectively as they did at that time. Afterwards, some of the premiers called the debate ridiculous and counterproductive. Well, certainly the, you know, the very strong emotional conflict that uh, was evident is uh, going to make it a little difficult to uh, try and resolve differences. Wells seemed frustrated too, and he challenged Mulroney to resolve their differences with a national referendum on Meech Lake. If you think you're speaking for the Canadian people and you're prepared to honor the wishes of the Canadian people, then call a referendum, and I assure you I will honor the wishes of the Canadian people. Mulroney rejected that idea out of hand. The object of the exercise with Meech Lake is to bring Canada together so we don't have any more referendums. So that idea is not on. It's a debate that wasn't supposed to happen until tomorrow. Usually the Prime Minister doesn't get involved when the Premiers read their opening statements. But today Mulroney couldn't resist and some of the Premiers are afraid that the public squabbling could hurt their chances for progress here on Meech Lake. Wendy Mesley, CBC News.